Hey TFA fam, the first day of the 2019 NFL Draft is already in the books, and we only saw five position players drafted outside of the quarterback position. I'm going to rate those five players based on their fantasy value in redraft leagues this season. Hi. At number five, I have Marquise Brown, the speedy wide receiver out of Oklahoma, landing with the Baltimore Ravens. This is more of a feeling about the landing spot than it is of the player's talent. I am not high on wide receivers with the Baltimore Ravens now that Lamar Jackson is the quarterback. He has not really shown the ability to get the ball downfield consistently to his wide receivers. Now, Marquise Brown is a small, shifty receiver at only 5'9", 166 pounds, so it's possible that John Harbaugh and staff can find ways to get him involved and get the ball in his hands on the short passing game. But that will, be, that will remain to be seen. As it stands right now, I have Brown as the fifth best fantasy impact out of the five skill position players drafted in the first round. Next on my list, coming in at number four, is TJ Hawkinson, the big tight end out of Iowa, landing with the Detroit Lions. The Lions seem to like drafting tight ends in the first round. They had Brandon Pettigrew and Eric Ebron just a few years ago. Actually, Ebron, one of only five other tight ends since 1990 to be drafted in the top 10 overall. Uh, obviously, that didn't end up working out. Ebron moves over to the Indianapolis Colts last year and immediately sees his production rise uh, from a maximum of five touchdowns with the Lions up to 13 touchdowns with the Colts. This is the same concern I have for Hawkinson now in Detroit. Matt Stafford has shown no ability to get the tight end the ball in the red zone, and that is where the tight end should be the most utilized player on the field. So for Hawkinson, with all the talent in the world, he better have it being a top 10 tight end, given how rare that is. I, I just don't know how his production is going to be any better than Eric Ebron's was when he was with Detroit. Um, and that's what we're looking at there is about 40 catches, around 500 to 600 yards, and at most four to five touchdowns a year, which just doesn't scream great fantasy production. Next up, we have the freakishly athletic tight end, also out of Iowa, Noah Fant, landing with the Denver Broncos. Joe Flacco has shown a propensity to get the ball to the tight end when he has had a talented tight end to throw to. When Dennis Pitta could stay healthy, he put up 61 for 669 and 7 in 2012, and then a few years later in 2016, Pitta actually had 86 catches for 729 yards and two touchdowns, all from Joe Flacco. I think Flacco will enjoy this new weapon in Noah Fant, and Fant's production could definitely be higher than Hawkinson's in the first few years. As we know, first-year tight ends in fantasy football don't typically put up huge numbers, but I think if anybody has a chance to this year, it would be Noah Fant, given the landing spot and his amazing athletic ability. Coming in at number two, I have Arizona State wide receiver Nikhil Harry landing with the New England Patriots. The do-it-all wide receiver lands with an organization that requires its players to do it all. Uh, he's going to have a ton of opportunity with the Patriots. As it stands right now, their depth chart is relatively empty at the wide receiver position with Julian Edelman returning, Philip Dorsett returning, and then they signed Demarius Thomas. And they also have Bruce Ellington and Maurice Harris. I definitely foresee Nikhil Harry playing a major role with the New England Patriots offense this year, which makes him my number two fantasy impact player for the 2019 season coming out of day one. Number one should be a surprise to nobody. It is the absolute beast of a running back in Josh Jacobs out of Alabama landing with the Oakland Raiders. This should come as a surprise to no one because John Gruden has been open about his desire to get a running back in the first round and, and how much he likes it just in being on draft shows in the past with Mel Kuyper getting in arguments about whether or not teams should take a running back in the first round, but also that this is kind of a perfect fit for Josh Jacobs. A lot of people had him mocked to the Eagles before they picked up Jordan Howard, and now he slides down to the Oakland Raiders who... Before this, only had Isaiah Crowell, Jalen Richard, DeAndre Washington, and Chris Warren at the running back position. Um, some of these guys may still break out, but none of them have the talent of a Josh Jacobs, so this immediately adds a dynamic piece to the Raiders running game. And that makes Jacobs my number one player drafted on day one to have an immediate fantasy impact. That'll do it for my top five players who will make a fantasy impact from day one of the 2019 NFL Draft. If you liked this video, please make sure to hit that like button and if you want more great content from the Fantasy Authority, hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications. 
Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time.